Welcome to this new add-on spotlight. In this add-on spotlight we're gonna look at the latest Airbus 33900 NEO which has been updated uh, yesterday. So the first thing which they did is they updated the 3D model and there are now two more porthole views uh, like in the fly-by-wire. So it's not that they I would say have added it uh, on the uh, I would say on the airplane itself but they just modified uh, the views. And that's also what they did for some other cockpit views. So they, I would say, kind of rebased all the camera views, which were initially part of the fly-by-wire release, and they added it now to the uh, A330 release. Uh, keep in mind that the A330 release is still based on the uh, fly-by-wire A32 Annex uh, 0.74, so you might not have all functionalities. Uh, that's the same thing for the, I would say, uh, 3D or not 3D, for the camera positions. So the camera positions have all been adjusted to the fly-by-wire ones. Uh, so you can see that there are multiple options here, which we can uh, take, right? This is from inside the cockpit, but you can also go outside and then use this view. And then you can press the A from alpha to move to the different positions uh, from the aircraft. So it's a really nice, really cool to see that they have added that. And this is the one which they have added. This is the porthole views. Uh, which they have, have added and uh, those were previously not there and you can see they added some more right so you can now switch between three uh, port uh, hole views in the in the complete aircraft so that's cool uh, the other things which they've done is they uh, I would say updated the sound and that specifically is also for the uh, port hole views so let's uh, start the uh, the engines because else we don't hear too much uh, while well, we look at the MCDU changes, because there are also two MCDU changes. So if you go to the MCDU menu, you can go into the ATSU and then you can go in the AOC menu. And there you will find the W slash B1. And the first one that, which they modified is the block view. Uh, there's now an option to adjust the maximum block view, which was not possible in previous releases, but you can now do that. So that's cool. Uh, also, if you look at uh, the positions, right, the uh, total number of people, uh, also known as the, the uh, packs, which is, stands for the, the passengers and uh, pack or package, which means I would say simply the, the baggage. Uh, they've also modified that, so you can now also set, uh, I'd say, the packs to two nine eight, which is the, the maximum, uh, which is really cool, right? You can see the total packs here, right? You can set. Uh, I think you can type in uh, two nine zero and then uh, press here and then we'll set it to maximum so this is the aircraft fully loaded uh, so keep that in mind so that's another option which they added to the mcdu uh, that's all cool but let's look at the uh, cockpit itself because the cockpit itself also received some changes and those are mainly for the cockpit uh, lightning uh, so the cockpit lights right which you can i would say uh, switch on using the uh, the buttons here above uh, that has also changed uh, to Im be improved a little bit better so cool to see uh, and they fixed the uh, MCDU uh, emissive light and the emissive light is simply how I'd say clear these displays are lighting up uh, in some cases I would say the displays which are shown here are a little bit dark and you can modify it using the uh, the buttons over here but the MCDU is now I would say correct lightning so that's cool um, what is the other thing or the latest change well that's the sound for the uh, external uh or for the porthole views right so let's go outside and then use the a key again and then if we go to one of the cockpit windows you can now hear the sound correctly right that was also changed and there are now in total uh six cockpit view or six port whole views and you can hear that the sound here is i would say a little bit less loud compared to the other two positions which are more i would say close to the engine so another nice update for this uh, nice aircraft so here ends this video i hope you liked it if you liked it then consider to use the like button if you've got questions or comments then feel free to post them in the comment box below and if you want to stay up to date about new videos i'm posting then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time